Hey guys, my name is Andrew Moran. I'm a doctor of physical therapy over at Odom Health and Wellness. And today I'm joined again by Ted Trizy, our professional sponsored triathlete. And today we're at Gear West to really dig into the bike side of things. And so we're starting a new series, a new video series called Triathlon Stuff, right? And so we're gonna sort of take you through maybe the journey of a triathlete as they kind of progress through the sport. So Ted, what is this, what is this series gonna entail, triathlon stuff? What can we look forward to? Yeah, so we started out with uh, doing videos at Odom Health, and now today we're at Gear West. We're gonna start out with bicycles that you could start the sport in, much like bicycles that I started the sport in. And then from there, we're gonna progress up to a higher end bike with one in between, and maybe check out some gear while we're here. Love it. All right, guys, looking forward to having you along the journey. Let's do it. All right, so first up, we picked out a bike that I actually started with. That was a Trek 1.1 at the time, but again, this is the very first one that I started my triathlon journey with. Uh, here with Ben at Gear West, you can tell us a little bit more about it. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, my name is Ben. I work at Gear West Bike here. Uh, I'm also a uh, Ironman certified triathlon coach, and I've competed in some triathlons and done a few Ironmans myself. Um, yeah, this is the Trek Domani AL3. So. Usually when we're looking at our first time or beginner triathletes, you know, maybe they don't have a bike at all currently. And so a great place to start is just something you can ride. And you know, you're gonna try out a triathlon, maybe your first sprint or Olympic. You probably need something just to get out on the road with too, because maybe you're not gonna like the sport or maybe you are. Uh, so a road bike like this makes a great uh, choice. The price tag isn't too bad. This price, this bike is around $1,000. Um, and uh, should you want to, you could always kind of add something like clip-on aero bars to kind of get in the more of that aero position, get more comfortable with the bike. Um, but it's a great way to, to test out the sport without sinking in a ton of dough. All right, thanks, Ben. Let's check out the next level. All right, so we got the next level bike here, a Fell D series. And coincidentally enough, this is the same bike that I went up to after the Trek road bike that we just looked at. Super excited to get this, it had integrated routing, base bars. I really felt like I was a part of the triathlon scene. Ben here can walk us through a little bit more of the components as well. Yeah, so this is the Felt D performance model. We've really made uh, kind of a nice upgrade in the way the frames look in and also our component group. We've moved up to Altegra. So this is a bike that you can really trust to take you to that next Olympic, maybe even half Ironman, maybe even full Ironman. Uh, you're going to have a lot of adjustability and comfort here. Uh, so this is a great next step to start to feel like you're really part of the sport and look cool too. Most importantly, I'm going to jump in here <laughs> because when you move from a road bike geometry to a tri geometry, you have a whole different design on how you sit on your bike. So you have a more straight down tube where you're gonna be more forward, where then you can lean into the arrow bars and not have to stretch so far to try to fit into an arrow position. So it's way more comfortable and you'll spend more time in the arrow bars, which is what makes a triathlon bike faster. And you'll also preserve a little bit of your quads so you'll have a little more strength for running afterwards. All right, in our last section here, we have a super bike. We have a felt IA. This bike has everything you could possibly need in it and then here can walk through a lot more. Uh, yeah, so we've made you know quite a big jump from the previous bike. We now have um, some kind of aero wheels and probably improved hubs. We've gone to disc brakes for better stopping power. Uh, this bike has you know integrated kind of aerodynamic storage because when you're going long, you need to eat a lot. Uh, saddle to help you get more in that aero position and uh, electronic shifting. So you know, the old bike we were shifting up here, we now have shifting down here and here just at the push of a button. Um, but uh, I kind of want to hear what uh, Jan's got to say too, as an eight-time Ironman finisher who's doing this before it was cool. I, at one time I thought this was cool, but it certainly is a lot slower than a design like this, especially on the downhills. I just um, stand up for a fit for women, which is a little different than fit for many um, uh, pro racing men. You have to look at what is most comfortable for your power and to make sure that you're in a position where you will be comfortable in your aero bars and the drop between your seat and your bar height is not so great that you'll be struggling to maintain that position. And also, most importantly for a woman, it's really not how stiff the frame is, it's really how best the frame fits a woman's smaller body. Because um, we just don't stress the frame as much as somebody built like this man. And he's sort of our future. Yeah, so I mean, to compare the two bikes here, what I see in this one compared to that one, it obviously would then hit on here with the integrated routing and the electronic shifting. I mean, it's all perfect. And to kind of go on what Jan said regarding the fit, I mean, we look at that too mostly as how we fit on the bicycle. You can spend, put me on the highest quality bike out there, 
and if it doesn't fit me, it's just not going to work. So getting a bike like this, making sure it fits, the whole package has to be together. Thank you to Gear West for this episode. Uh, tune in next week for triathlon stuff.